Hey, everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis on this Monday, Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. Anybody who is uh, gets to enjoy a federal holiday due to this new uh, holiday of ours that has been celebrated by many people for hundreds of years, but is finally being recognized by our country. Um, but anyways, we're here. We got the day off of work and we get to hang out and play with you guys. So welcome. And uh, we've got some good news and some bad news. I mean, not bad news and not really good news. I've got some news. And the news is that Tori is unable to join us today. And I know that that's probably why most of you, you know, joined us because we haven't seen her in a long, long time. Oh, no, everybody left. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. See you. Um, no, uh, she was planning on joining us, but then family have come into town and she's unable to get away for the day. So we're bummed, but she is 100% committed to joining us next Monday, where we will continue sort of our potpourri of, oh, what happened here? Um, I think I'm still good. I'm seeing Daniel's running all this, the show here. So I'm seeing all kinds of different, different stuff. But anyways, um, we're here. We're going to uh, place Daniel's here and he and I haven't played in a long time. So uh, he'll be here in just a second. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. I see right said, Brett, you're here. It's good to see you again. Uh, Eki, Eki, but Eki Bert. Uh, good to see you. Moffat Reborn. Some new folks, Squiggly Pig, Show Game. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining today. Um, I'm just going to get right to it. Let's say thank you to our our Patreon and coffee donors who are the reason we are able to do what we do. There they all are. These are our uh, this is these are basically our, our employee employers. It's because of these people that Daniel and I are able to uh, to make conversations with Curtis happen. So thank you for your support. Can't tell you much. We appreciate it. And if you are in a position to join them, it would mean a lot. We, we are putting out tons and tons of content and we would love as much uh, support as we can get so we can continue to do this uh, and, and do it well and do it professionally and and uh, and add to it. Uh, come up. We have so many ideas that we want to implement. We just need the time and the space and the wherewithal to do that. Um, but anyways, thanks uh, for, as always to Malika Chandler, our number one donor for many, many, many months running, uh, followed by Francois Damagella, Robbie Thurio, Joseph Austin, and Moffat Reborn. Thank you guys for for being there. Is hmm, I thought we had one more person on that on that list and that that lower list right there. Daniel's gonna have to tell me. Uh, also our coffee donors this this last 30 days. Um, Zwex, officially in the lead, followed by CJ, YT Wanderer, Victor Chang, Moffat Reborn, David, uh, and Atlas Redux. Thanks for your support, guys, especially uh, with these streams and being able to help us get to our goal. Our goal is $250. It's a Monday. So if by the end of this week we get to that $250, some lucky one of you will get the chance to be our next uh our next co-host choosing a game of your choice that we will play. Uh, speaking of new co-hosts, next this Wednesday, day after tomorrow, Ross Scott of Accursed Farms has agreed to join us, and he will be co-hosting. Uh, his and his choice is Daniel's going to have to tell me. He'll he'll correct what I'm about to say. We're going to play. King's Quest. In fact, just bring Daniel out right now and he can just tell me what we're going to play on Wednesday. Everybody say hi to Daniel. It's been a long time. Hi. Where are you? Hey, there you are. What's up, man? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Welcome back from your your adventures. Good to be back. How My was adventures your, how was ended a week ago, but then we couldn't stream last week because of various reasons. Yeah, you weren't available and then you were available and then I didn't and then think you I could weren't do it. available. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I had some time and I thought, oh, what the hell? I'll just play some. I'm a little obsessed with little nightmares. I will have to say that it's, it's, it's gotten under my skin and I'm really enjoying playing that game, even though no one really, 
well, some luck, some some select few have been joining me and enjoying the game. But um, but I'm glad to have you back. And tell me what we're playing with Ross on Wednesday, and then tell everybody what we're doing today. Okay. Before we do all of that, I have. Up to date. Yeah, I look like we have some. There we go. Tyler, I knew Tyler. Yeah. Yes, who was not, who has joined us not too long ago and has been a wonderful new addition to our team. They can't hear you? Why, why can't they hear you? Uh, I can't hear me in this scene, so you need to uh, read the names or the top okay. uh, billing and the... Uh... Okay. Um, anyways, uh, yes, this is the newest version. We can't hear Daniel right now, but Tyler is now one of, is, is back in the uh, top tier and we thank him for upping his donation. Ozzy Azaroth has also joined us. Uh, a while back and we did not get his name on here the last time. So we wanted to apologize for that and make sure that he knows that he is being uh, recognized and uh, appreciated uh, as is everyone else. Um, I think I said everything. That's it. Yeah. Thanks yeah. Guys. And the list is unfortunately um, shorter than usual because a lot of people left. So I hope that we'll get some new Patreon members and coffee members soon. Yeah. Usually what happens is, once I think Patreon and Coffee will will alert the member that hey they're about to have some money taken out under this cause and after a certain amount of time they're like ah oh, I can't do that anymore and so we lose people and uh, and lately we've been losing a little more than we've been getting we were getting some but yeah it's it's been a slow a slow trickle downward has it not yep. <laughs> but <laughs> what do we make of that? Daniel? But we're doing this for fun, so yeah, let's yeah. make uh, let's have some fun. And yeah. um, people are mentioning in the chat if this was a technical difficulty. No, in the screen with the Patreon members, I usually have my microphone muted because this is the a scene in which Paul reads the the Patreon members and I'm sipping coffee. So I don't want people hearing me sipping coffee or yelling at my computer. Which you've been doing a lot more of lately. Yeah. Right? Now, um, okay. before we get into all of that, I have a few announcements. First of all, we are we have on Sunday, it's the 20, it's the 30th anniversary for Day of the Tentacle. And I have my interview with Dave Grossman, which will premiere on Sunday at probably 11 a.m., and so stay tuned. I'll post the link to that soon on our YouTube channel. And in addition to that, someone approached me about two months ago and asked me if I have the notes for the Phantasmagoria 2 soundtrack. And I told him that I didn't. And he decided just to listen to the soundtrack and try to recreate a few of the tracks from the soundtrack. And so I want to play a few of these tracks. Well, oh, in cool moment. And the, the thing is that one of our Patreon members, uh, Connor Eck, who created a, a cover of the map music, helped him find out which instruments were used in the actual soundtrack. So he played it by ear and used the instruments that Connor told him to. And then we got this. So first of all, we have the home music. Wait, I'll remove the chat because the chat is currently hiding. The music. Okay. So this is the first track. This is home day one. Who who is this? J Juice. This is Vincent Dortel. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing Vincent, his name right. Vincent Dortel. Okay. And he basically transcribed by ear and played on a real um, synthesizer. Oh man, 
That sounds exactly. Yeah, and I'm not used to hearing it in high quality, so it's hey. a nice kind of weird. <laughs> oh, and That's he really also, cool. yeah. This is the computer room. Me underscore lurker tipped three pieces of eight. Enjoyed your me playthroughs. Daniel, any plans to introduce Paul to my favorite C64 game, Zack McCracken? Well, as much as I like Zack McCracken and C64, uh, it's six, C64 version, um, we haven't decided whether or not we'll play adventure games in which there's no uh, voiceover because it's kind of problematic to uh, stream it because then we'll have to read each line. But thank you for the donation. Yeah, and thank you for the donation. Uh... It's really good. It's really good. I noticed a few differences, sometimes in the timing, but other than that, it's pretty spot on. And the last one is the threshold. This sounds kind of different, probably because I uh, used a few different instruments. But this sounds... Uh... Anyway, it's, it's awesome. And I hope that if they ever make a Phantasmagoria 3, they hire this guy. Yeah, for sure. To recreate yeah. the, the soundtrack. Yeah, nice job. Nice job. That was really cool. Um, I'm going to read a couple of, couple of comments. So Bright said, Brett, we're talking about like, you know, as we were lamenting losing uh, Patreon members, he said, thinking about maybe branching out to other gaming genres. Um, let's see. Uh, because this is such a niche, such a niche thing, right? And so that would be, we would get more people at different genres. I guess I wonder what those genres would be. We don't want to go, I certainly don't want to get into anything. In the way of MDQP tipped five pieces 08. A little something to celebrate the Roberta Williams interview. Also, Daniel, you just have to up your voice acting skills so we can play mute games as well. Yeah, I'm saving my voice for the live streams and the interviews. I can't uh, start dubbing games as well. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, MDQP. Good to see you, man. Welcome, I'm welcome still back. bummed that the first Good interview I did with my in my Tech Talk series, I was uh, under the weather, and so I had a stuffy nose, and so... I sound stuffy. Mm. You sound fine. Stuffy nose. It, it, it makes it makes the voice it gives the voice a, a nice texture. Uh, David Amato said, "I only heard about you guys recently, so I think we need to spread the word more." Yeah, that's exact. That 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 sounds good. How do mm -hmm. we do that? Yeah. Um, Monk Monk. The interview with Robert Roberta Williams was a boost. Good boost for y'all. Hope to see more of those. Um, but well, that's the thing. It's it's nice that you're bringing this up. There are many interviews and one-offs that we do that get us plenty of subscribers, but they don't stick around for the other types of content. So, for example, from Spoonie, we got a bunch of subscribers, but somehow they don't watch our live streams or other interviews. And same goes for Raska, then probably the same for Roberta Williams. So, yeah, we get them. We don't know we always keep them, but you know. Oh, and and hey, Vincent D is on the on the stream. He says, "Hi guys, I'm the one who did the cover tracks. Just wanted to say that I love your channel. Your your interviews gave me the inspiration to redo those tracks. Hope I did them justice. Did you ever? Man, you were awesome. Yeah, nice job. Brad. Yeah, I, I forgot about that email because when I saw the the reply yesterday, I think. It was an email I, I an email correspondence from May seventh, and so I forgot about that, and it was a nice surprise. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, lots, lots of good, good, lots, lots of, lots of good chatting going on. All right. What are we doing today, Daniel? And and uh, 
Did we talk about what we're doing with Ross on Wednesday? With Ross, we're going to play the King's Quest 1 fan remake, which uh, in addition to uh, remaking the original EGA game in VGA graphics, it also contains a feature that uh, th disables the dead ends. And so the game is somewhat less annoying. That, okay, good. Still I'm annoying. Like, that's a, that's a... <laughs> what, what a somewhat what less. A, uh, wonderful uh, recommendation. We get to play a game that's a little less annoying than the original version of the game. All right. I'm looking forward to that. But Ross yeah. has never played it. He suggested it. It was his suggestion, and we're going for it. So that'll be fun. Um, mm -hmm. He might, depending on how long it takes, he said he could probably come back a different day. Uh, and then uh, and then there's another game that Voidburger is going to play with us it's sometime in July, I think. What was it called? Um, Forgot its name. Wow. Clowny or something like that. I don't know. Any plans uh, on playing Space Quest series or maybe Heroin Quest? Space Quest was one of the options uh, Ross had thought about. Well, again, you know, we're looking for uh, voiced games. So if we play Space Quest 4, it will be, uh, if we play the Space Quest series, it will be either Space Quest 4 or 6, which are voiced. So we'll see about that. I don't know. What? I'm a fan of LucasArts games. Sierra games are. Are rough for uh, beginners, and so I don't want to put you through endless deaths. You're not a beginner. I'm talking about I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, some other Paul I'm streaming I'll with. Show you, I'll show you beginner. All right, let's play this damn game. I'll show you what I what I've learned. So okay. we're playing. Uh, we're playing full throttle. Full throttle. All right, let's do this thing. Don't tell me nothing. Just give me the controls and shut up. I will, and I will. <clears throat> wait, wait, subtitles on, not full screen. Okay, remastered, back, new game. Yes. That first, that first piano, uh, click the start remote control the shared screen. All right, here I go. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. Good voice. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd free. fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that attached. things are never that simple. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt. And trouble. Nice. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Oh. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. Yes. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sounds <laughs> like that. That's hard. I always like those old voices. Old, old man voices. Die. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. Ah, it's your what's ears between are fine. them that scares me. Bikers. Oh, uh, Daniel, you, you, you chose the genre that's perfect for biker genre. I like the futuristic genre. Why do the bike motorcycles have tires that the car is a hovercraft? That's part of the plot. Now part there the go plot. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Like you can pick up like an airplane too. It's like we're on the road. Ooh. 
And if we click F1, we can switch to the old uh, view during the game. Mark Hamill? Yeah, he was Rip Burger. He was Rip Burger? Oh, wow. What do I do? Hit F1 and do what? Yeah, we'll do it soon. So who are the main dudes on this? These are like Hudson oh, Schaefer. Programmers, like Dave Grossman. Yeah. Yeah. Anson Jew, I'm interviewing him on, um, on Thursday. Peter Chen, I'm trying to get an interview with him. Hey, okay. Ben. So here I go. I'm on, huh? You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something Rip burger's big. coming your way. Something Wait, ripped. people are saying that the the game's volume is uh, higher than our volume. Then we're gonna rectify that yeah, right now. So well. Can you hear us? Hello. Great. Hey, are you doing this or am I doing this? What's going on? This is the cutscene. This is the intro. Oh, well, we didn't... Who, yeah, who you took better the keys? Stay out. Who took which keys? The, oh, that's a resume. Okay, I thought, I thought yeah, we were picking something up. This place is nope. bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy Boy, that drove over my car? they didn't give Mark Hamill much of a part. All right, he has a bigger part. A bit will come in later. Mm -hmm. So what's the story? This is what somewhat... possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm... An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? So that's, Not that's Mark Hamill's that voice, wasn't. huh? He's got such a... we never recognize him. So who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told Would you, you guys to have known that's his limo. voice without knowing yeah, that was him? Yeah, it's very, it's very similar to the voice he does for for Joker. When you oh, listen okay. to it carefully and already know that it's Mark Hamill, but still. Okay. Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. I wonder if Mark Hamill felt like he was really slumming it at the, this time of his career. Was this a, was this a step the back for him, or was he, or was he into these kinds of games? What That's bad this? news for all of us. He's oh, not he just did. a nice guy. He was He's part also of an the FMV last game motorcycle commander maker in the country. Around the same time. What so. happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If it's you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just yeah, Daniel, one Can you get us Mark Hamill for one of our next interviews? Yeah, sure. I will offer. Dang, I knew that was coming. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie take up this little 200-pound loose end. 
<laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, about where's that? Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll them, boys! Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! Okay. Okay, now you, you've got the controls. I'm clicking F1. As you can see, you can switch between the remaster and the old version. Okay, I don't think I do have controls. Is that me? You do. It okay, is you. All right. It's so regarding Mark fun. Hamill, we need to get Mark Hamill, but we didn't get uh, Robert Patrick, and I tried. The, the, the thing is that I think that um, Robert Patrick... He's currently, he's currently filming for a Netflix series. Oh, yeah? MTQP tipped $5. Man, I met full throttle at my cousin's home, didn't have a PC back then, and it was love at first sight. The Italian dub is pretty nice, too. Fun. Someone. All right, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm, I've got a crosshairs. Uh, what, yeah. what are we now? Who are we? We're, we're Ben Thrall, the leader of the Polcats. Oh, but didn't we just get knocked out? We did, and they threw us in a dumpster. Now, get yourself oh. out of the dumpster. Boom. Where's my coat? He still has his coat. Why do you say take his coat off? Hmm. Okay, let's check some stuff out. Boxes. Okay, let's look in the boxes. No, don't eat the boxes. Let's kick the boxes. No. No. Oh boy, he's gonna. All right, They're I remember. Empty. Okay. I let's remember a lot of reviews. Um, of this game. I've touched it enough. Mentioned the fact that unlike other adventure games in which you had to find a key to a door or find uh, various ways to open something over here you have empty boxes he really fist. should flatten these and so they can be recycled your foot you open stuff so nah he can flatten his own boxes well he just said we should do it and now he's telling us not to do it let's get out of here is there anything i need to get there all right, should I go check and see what's inside here? I can see my motorcycle, of course. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's go see what's in there. How do we get in? Come on, school. Door. Open it. Open the door. Open up. Open up. Can I just go in? Yeah, if you'll find a way to get in. I'm gonna kick that door open. Yep. Boom. That's the way to get in. I, uh, why, why was the door fixed locked? Your door. I fixed your door. It was sticky. Why Look, I don't want in? no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Look at the, <laughs> the whiny bartender. Just leave me out. All right, well, let's look in the cash drawer. That's always good. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. All right, all right. What else is there? Is there stuff here? There's a bottle up here. That's nothing. What's that? Let's look at the monitor. I don't want to taste it. I want to. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, all right. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Controls? Do I need some controls? I need like a. I need a remote control. What's going on? How come it's all. I'm switching back and forth between the old and the remaster. No. That's the old? Let me see what the old looks like. Like so, it's not widescreen. That's screen. what we—that's what you guys all watched. That's what you guys all did the first time, huh? Yeah. Back in the day. Wow. Still look, looks Good thing awesome. that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead polecat, I'd have to trash the place. Because the polecats are the—they're—they're they're enemies, right? 
They're the polecats. He's the leader of the polecats. Oh, oh I Those see. Those might you look good want... mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a feeling there's nothing in here. It feels like there's nothing that's like making me... I feel like I need to get on the motorcycle and get going. Yeah, but you'll soon find out why you can't go on your motorcycle. You can go outside oh, and try to drive your motorcycle. Oh, I don't have my keys. Got to find my keys. All right. This is a lot like me. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, what do you do? Is it like that? How how long ago? How long after Monkey Island was this? Which Monkey Island? Some Joker took well, my keys. I don't. This like came that. out the same year as Phantasmagoria One. Oh wow! Okay. Some Joker took my keys. Some All Joker right. took my keys. I know. Can I open this up? Some now? Joker, because you know Ripberger is the Joker. Never mind. Hey, but Some he wasn't Joker then. Took was my he? keys. Had he already been the Joker at this point? Yeah. Wait, can I go this way? Where are my keys? I gotta find my keys. I know they're in the dumpster. I'll bet. Because I was knocked out in the dumpster. Are they on the ground? Oh, we get to do the slow walk of these old games. No, over I here wasn't... when you when you click an exit, you can double click it. But you're not clicking really? an exit. Yeah. So when if you go to the kickstand and double click it, then you'll be in the kickstand. The kickstand being the bar. Oh, I see. Double click. Pam pam. I did. I did. I'm double clicking. All right. All right. Well, let's go back to the dumpster. So, oh, can I get in there? Is it? Uh... Maybe use one of the verbs to see if the keys are over there. I'm not putting my lips on that. Wait, what's the verbs? Let's see. The verbs is the this. You know, we used to have verbs. So you have eyes, you have mouth, you have fist, and you have boot. I've woken up and worse. But then. Okay, so. I've touched it enough. Okay, so it's not in there. All right, I gotta find the keys. Come on, where are the keys? I mean, this just happened to me. This happened to me yesterday. Maybe the not bartender much knows. Ah, the bartender. Ask him. I will. Come on, I double click you. Besides, like a... Mark, Mark Hamill should join us for an interview. I think we're we we've brought in some major players in the gaming industry. I've never industry. liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. <laughs> and and right, we even talk to... and what we do even do got an Academy Award nominee. What do you do to talk to him? Just keep I've talking never doing liked this. Nose rings. No, no. you can use me your neither, mouth. But someone dared me. Oh, the mouth. It's okay. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? There we go. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well what are you gonna do about it? Oh, we're gonna do something. I'm gonna kick you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick you in the no. face. Uh huh. Punch you. I'm gonna punch you. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. Ow. <gasps> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had Aha. guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What Ooh. else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? <laughs> oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't oh, do too good of a job thing. there. But why ambush the pole, Gantz? I'd better get moving. 
I'd better get moving. Let's better get moving. I guess we should listen to him. He knows what he wants to do. Yep. You know, you know me. I would stick around and ask him more questions and find out yeah. what else. I could... You might find out that in this particular game, dialogue puzzles aren't a big thing. You usually need okay. to kick stuff around. Okay, good. I'm just going to kick stuff around. All right, how do I go? Let's see. Let's do this. And let's grab it, I guess. There we go. Right. When I'm on the road. Blue Black Jew, we're bringing back some other classics. I'm not, what was our plan for today? Are we playing just this, Daniel? Or are we, no one can are we stop hopping me. around? The idea with, was with, with Tori is Let that we were going to play like three or four. Well, what do I do? I've got to do something. Can I kick Hey! Him? Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah. So this and you're in my way. So we have we'll get an, used to it, but an action sequence over here, when a rock and I hit think the road, it won't work well. We own it. Look, I'm serious. I don't think that it will work well on remote, so we're gonna skip it. I'm just gonna oh. drop the volume a bit. Or you want? You can do it if you want. Yes, someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Oh heavens! Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on! Wait, the volume is still too high. Maybe it's the volume on your OBS. No. No, maybe not. Oh, kitty! No, it's better. Let's get down! Now, we have a little fight here, yeah? <laughs> Nice, Daniel. Dang, you just you are you are a veteran polecat. Uh oh, <laughs> the person who animated this scene of the bolt falling from the wheel is Graham Annabel, Academy Award nominee Graham Annabel. You gotta keep. You're gonna use that every chance you get. Yeah. <laughs> because maybe Mark Hamill is watching this live stream and he needs to know that we had Academy Award nominees on this uh, channel. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Sasha K tipped three dollars. Never forget to check your inventory. Good luck inventory. with this game. Inventory. Inventory. Thank you, Sasha. Sweet Coach Mar tipped ten dollars. The only biker game I played was the GTA 4 DLC, The Lost and Damned Lol. Oh, you should have played GTA Vice City. Have driven Thank the you. There as well. Thank you for the double donation. Sweet Koshmar. Koshmar? Thank you. Better point these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. It's a veteran. Hey, Kate Pearson is here. Came for Day of the Tentacle, but delighted to see its full throttle. Kate! Hey, Where buddy. Are you? Welcome. Yeah, uh, Tori ultimately uh, had some family in town and she couldn't sneak away. So Daniel thought it wouldn't, it just seemed like we don't want to play that game without her, nor uh, the other one. What was the other one that you were thinking? Um, Puzzle Agent. Puzzle Agent. She's so good at those things. So we want to wait until we get her. So we're going to play a little of this today. Maybe that's all we'll play today. Or if Daniel has some other other games up his sleeve, we'll play this for a little while and and see what else we got. But yeah, that's where we're at. But it's good that to see you, Kate. Well. Thanks for joining us. Maureen. Interlace. That's another new name. Never thought I'd see the lead of my favorite FFB I know game Interlace. Outside of Phantas 2, let alone play Phantas 2. And now he's playing my all-time favorite adventure game. 
Wow. Yeah, and the QP puzzle agent with Tori. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. So Zwex is saying Among Us. Is that the one? My bike. Is what have you what's done that with one? my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Is Among Us the... I can, I, can I have their controls back? Yeah, you have your controls. Oh, I still have to all this time? Um... Is Among Us the game? What's Among Us? Is that the one that the um, HBO show was all about? No, that's Last of Us. Last of Us. Among Us is where a whole bunch of people, it's like a murder game and you're all running mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. I think they were mentioning that during Little Nightmares, that it would be fun to host a Conversations with Curtis Among Us game amongst the Discord members or the Patreon members or something. I. I've never played it. My kids used to play it. So I don't know. That could be kind of fun. You're on a spaceship. You have to figure out who the imposter is killing others. That could be fun. Is it fun? It, it must be. Fun. People played it. Yeah. But maybe we should do that. Let's but do it that. it requires other people. Well, we got I'm a all, bunch of people. I, I, I'm all about the single campaign when I play. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Mo. Wait, this is the person we talked you about at the beginning of the game. In the I prefer intro. not to use it. Mm -hmm. What about you? Same deal. So this is this ben is Mo forever, the intro was after everything. The intro is this a flashback? Like him, him telling the story. Yeah, so this is a flashback. Okay, this an authorized Corley service center? I don't care about that. Where'd you learn bikes? Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. This, I guess I need to know. This is an authorized, authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this no. a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Yeah, you know, you live in this Lucas town. Arts did. Well, we had the best the voice town. actors, that's for sure. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person. I'm just better with toasters. That's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you got to help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not welding least, torch I patched up your ruptured some... gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Boy, we got a bunch of stuff to get. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. There's going to be an ambush. Someone tried to kill me. I'm out. There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? All right, tell me, where am I supposed to where find all this stuff? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. All right, how am I supposed to find your torch? Where's the gas? Never mind, I'll figure it out myself. Um, where am I going to find hint? new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start okay. by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs okay, a junkyard. Good. All right, let's do that. Should I find out? How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? All right, dragnet. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, okay. I think I can handle it. Good. Oh, do you? Well, let's get back to your work. I don't have any money to pay you with. I gotta ask about I that. don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched nice. anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, getting thanks. my hands on your hog? Come on, Lucas Arts. Well, I'll let you get back to work. 
Let me know if you need any aspirin or well, anything. Well, they had to earn their 15 plus rating somehow. They had to, they had to make the 14 year old boys giggle. Um, all right. How do I get out of here? Uh, where do I go? That way. All right, oh, let's go. good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was, was just like looking for some nice roadside disaster story. photos and you helped. We want a picture of me bleeding. We want a picture of me bleeding. It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Stop an ambush. All right, now let's just get out. Ah, uh, maybe he knows something Listen, about an ambush. I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. Somewhere between here and Corville. Do you think you can give me a lift? Uh, let's do that. Uh, maybe you I, should voice Ben I, in the seat. Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man. Spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. All right, let's go to the... Let's go to the... Where's... Okay, wait a minute, what's going on? There we go. go that way. Where's the trailer? I'm double clicking here. <laughs> walking backwards. He's doing a little Michael Jackson. What was that all about? Oh, she ran away. She had a car the whole time. Oh, the little liar. And Ben is blind Lying. as a bat. Lying liars who lie. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Okay. That's where we were. And that, that's our Melly Allen. This is okay. Yeah, this is stuff that we need to get to. There's that. Where's the trailer? There's the trailer. That looks like a trailer. Let's try this. Go faster. There we go. Knock on this thing. You see, back in the day, we didn't see what's written on on Ben's oh. coat. And now in the remasters, we. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. My I art. don't got time to waste on bums like you. Yeah, hey, you okay. lousy no, no boy. Grimble, grimble, grimble. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this door open because that's what I do. All right, he went down below or something. Let's see what's going on here. It's locked up with steel brackets. Huh. Do I have anything in it? Do I have an inventory? Yep. Where's my inventory? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. You, don't don't have have anything. anything in, you have an inventory <laughs> in the game. <laughs> You're just not packing heat at the moment. Wouldn't look good on my bike. All right. What, what do I, I want to kick some more stuff. Do I kick things? What do I do? Let's see. What? Right. Well... You don't have anything in the trailer, but maybe... Um... Aha, I got a CD. No, the CD is the autosave. You got meat. I got meat. Can I, should I eat the meat? What do I, what's the meat for? It's probably for a dog coming up. Okay, there's gonna be a dog in the game. Um... Gotta get past. So there's some way to get. He's in like a. He he went into like a little. He went into his bunker, and you need to get him out. How do I get him out of the bunker? So anyway, you can right click to see your inventory now that you have something in your inventory. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to the dog <laughs> later or something. All right, All right. fair enough. Uh, what do I do down here? Let's look. He 
either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very subcode wiring. <laughs> They're proud of me for closing the fridge. I, I, I think what, what's our guy? What's our name? Who are we? Ben. Ben. Ben was brought up right. Let's see what about this. Oh, that was. Did I do a right click? I didn't mean to do a right click. Okay, what's it's that? even sadder looking inside. Um, what about over here? Nothing. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Uh huh. Well, okay, okay. I need to get in his bunker, but his mm -hmm. bunker's in that house, so I might as well go back in here. It's got to be through here, right? Yeah. And we're gonna deal with the dog later. And I look. But you need to get rid of him first. Get rid of the the guy. Yeah. How how will he get into his bunker that way? So I have to go into the bunker and dip. What's this? I can. What is this? Smells like burning metal down there. Maybe I can put something down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you think no. you'll be able to get rid of him? Get rid of the guy, uh, the, yeah. the, the guy that's down. He, he's down there now, and he locked himself down, and I need to get rid of him. And the only thing I have is meat, and there's a dog. If I can get the dog to make a bunch of... i got to find the dog. Where's the dog? Come on, how do I... Let's go. The dog's not down there, is there... Nope. Uh, is there a way? To... I guess I have to, so do I have to get out of this area. No, first of all, you you can get rid of him with stuff that that's not necessarily in your inventory. But I haven't seen the dog. Where is the damn dog? Well, the dog is irrelevant to this section of the game. Oh, I thought you said I needed to get the dog. Okay. Um, what about... Steel bars in the glass. No, that's... I want to kick it. Steel bars in the glass. Wait, I don't so know. La last time when you knocked on the door, what happened? He said, oh, I know. Well, he... Oops. He looked in the people, Open right? Up. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, now I know what to do. Knock. I got it. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. What do I do? And at the time, it was super refreshing. You defines true beauty. Instead of collecting stuff in uh, in your inventory and doing a bunch of stuff to open doors, I think he's had enough. Or yeah. sneak away into houses. You can just kick doors open, kick yeah. people in the head. His How do I get down there? Well, you can step on the uh, elevator it. on the right. Like so. Oh, we got some stuff. I bet you there's going to be uh, a fork in here. What's this? Let's pick a bunch of stuff up. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, look at this just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Okay, so I did that. Now I need to figure out. Oh, I know where the here. The gas is over here. Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, oh we got a key. As this is, I'm learning all this. The, whenever you see a lock, you gotta find the key. Oh, maybe I can just, you know, I know what I can do. Oh. Here, watch, watch me. I'm learning from what Daniel tells me. Go kick I it. I couldn't break that lock. Ah. All right. Uh. What do we do? Where do we go? There's something around here. What's this? Can I climb? What's that? The top of this fence is electrified. Okay, I gotta unelectrify the fence and then climb over it. Well, no, 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 no. I wanna stay there. But there's gotta be something. What, can I go this way? Can I go anywhere? Doesn't seem like I can do anything around here. Nope. Okay, I guess I do need to get out of here. Okay. Uh, Maybe you need to pick something um, from the trailer in addition to the meat. Well, I'm surprised that it made me... Um, it, it just transported me to her her room. I mean, I, I would have looked for more things while I was in there. So it's weird that I have to go back. I should have been able to pick up whatever's in there in one in one time. Do you not agree? I agree. But then again, did you know Paul Morgan Stetler? Did you know that in your game Phantasmagoria 2 if you try to leave the apartment don't collect art, and I also before don't you collect open the drawer, that is. before you picked up everything in the drawer, then if you go and look at the drawer, instead of opening it and seeing the, the screwdriver and the granola bar, uh -huh. you're looking in the drawer and saying that the keys aren't there. So if you try to leave the apartment before you take all of the things in the drawer, you need to go and look underneath the couch to realize that the keys uh, are there before you can look at the drawer again and actually pick up those items. So what you're saying is that there's a lot of absurdity in these games. I don't collect that... art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Uh... Can I turn the music off? I'm loving the music, kind of. Let's see. Can't Take get the radio. Is that the radio? Uh, okay. Okay. There's something else in here. What? Uh, there's this thing. What do I... I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I don't collect art. And I also All don't right, collect I don't... whatever that is. Maybe upstairs. Yeah. Maybe there's something upstairs. All right. How do I get out of here? Walk on. Step on the elevator. Okay. Oh, there's stuff over there. Maybe there's more stuff in the cabinet. No, really? thought I got it really. Oh, she's looking at a refrigerator. Is that the refrigerator? Yeah. And what's that? That's only the one. I can only get the one door open. Okay, then go open. Take a look at the cabinets. The cabinets. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, hey, back to that. Oh, there's some scissors or something in there. Ah, don't do that. Right. I'm going to kick those. What's that? All right, I got a thing. It's, a, it's another CD. Yeah, I got another CD. All right, now I can go show. Oh, I'm going to, that's a key. I'm going to go 
Well, unlock the thing. Let's take thing. a look at your inventory instead of guessing what you just picked up. Right click. I'm right clicking. It's uh, it, it's like um, does it tell you what it is? Yeah. It's a lock pick. Oh, it's a lock pick. Oh, that's good. That's all I need. All right, let's do it. Well. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go over here. I'm gonna lock pick the lock. You know, after we interviewed Roberta Williams, I realized that I really like Lorelai Shannon's games because Roberta said that she wasn't really present in the King's Quest VII design, which means that Lorelai Shannon did most of the work, the writing and the game design. So, both games by Lorelai Shannon, and this Spaghetti and King's Quest VII are two of my favorite Sierra games. It would be interesting to give Lorelai Shannon uh, a bunch of resources and money and say, what would you do today? What what game, what would you, what, what would you do? I bet you she has some, it would be interesting to see what, what she would do at this time in her life if she was able to make the game of her choice. Gotta go the ladder, right? Why does he have to go in circles? What? Hide. Hide, run. Go find a shadow. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't like those noises. Uh, oh, great. What is this world that we're in? It's the future. It's, it's like a Road Warrior world game, right? Sort right of there. somewhat future. I'm talking to you, boy. You are trespassing on private property. Remain still, still, and we will, will not shoot, shoot you. you. Yeah! Well, wait a minute, we are being shot at, so what do we do? <laughs> I'll get a safe fire before you do that, Floyd. Run like a moron. So, I get to safe fire before you do that, Floyd. That's hilarious. Okay, so off he goes. All right. Well, I gotta go back, right? Now I gotta figure out what to do next. I was able to get in. I can't go on the... I gotta do something. Well, all there is is the. No, no. Okay. No, don't. So, I've got. What's that? What's that? So, I've got the. What is this thing? Just kick the puzzle. Huh? Hmm. Kick the puzzle. Kick the puzzle? Kick that thing? Nah, don't, don't kick it. No. no. I'm going to now. All right. So what about over here? Is there stuff over here? I've got to somehow trip the wire and then get out of there. Oh, I can hide. Okay. Well, there you go. That's it. All right. I know what to do. I'm going to, I'm going to try to go up here. I'm going to mm -hmm. start to go. I tried to do that the first time. I just didn't know which way to go. Okay, now we're going to over here. we got some time. Hi, Nelson. Nelson's here. Nelson Miguel, you're here. Welcome. P Pepina. That's a new name. Well, yeah, Thanks, for, right. Thanks for joining us. Now stop, stop moving, moving so, so we can administer can justice upon you. <laughs> <laughs> so we can administer justice upon you. Wait, really? Yeah, oh, you so didn't hide. I did hide. Nah. I thought I hid. Nah. Hi, guys and chatters. Full Throttle is one of my absolute favorites. Why nobody has made a film of it or why no... Why number two was canceled? Was canceled. Well, so which my... one of the number twos? You guys was, talk uh, about yourselves while I figure out. So I, I, what I do wrong? So let me just say. So you didn't go in the go... shadows. You should go in the shadows so that the player, us, can't see Ben. Right, but you that's what I did. I went this way. Let's see what I did yeah, wrong. You went this way, but you need to go behind that thing. 
So anyway, uh, no. back in 2000... Ah, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Back in the year 2000, they started working on the first sequel for Full Throttle, which was called Full Throttle Payback. And Bill Tiller worked on Curse of Monkey Island. Go hide. And, and he designed a few screens, and then they canceled that sequel. And then a few years later, they no. tried to... No! No! Then a few years oh, later... They started working on Hell on Wheels, which was the 3D the game. We all set off the alarm, Floyd. heard about. Hold on. With us. This is too oh, important. Wait, save, save your information. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. Okay. Uh -oh. You hit well. Kinda. All right. Let's let's pause so you can finish your your. Oh, anyway, wait. They started working on Hell on Wheels, um, and that was canceled as well. So both. I planned sequels for Full Throttle were cancelled and then the adventure genre adventure game genre died for a few years. But anyways uh, oh. um, that's it, that's the interesting story. I wonder if um Ah, what do I do? I have to hide. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah. We would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Ooh. Let's go up and get him. Oh, good. I can steal their, I can steal their hovercraft. Yeah, dude, let's get in there. Oh, what do I do? All right. What good would that do? Sure. Well, Give doesn't it, it seem like the right thing to do? You're telling me no, but might as well. I could go thwart the... I don't touch anything without wheels. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. All right, let's go up. Can I go up here? Don't think so. Okay, what do I do then? I'm going to grab something and break it. No. Kick their... Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I can't go up there. I can't go on... I don't touch anything without wheels. I don't wheels. touch anything without wheels. Um, what about the light? Can I turn shine the light on them? Can I use the... What did Maureen ask so. you to bring? Gasoline. Okay. Oh, is there a gas? Do we have gas here? Gas. 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 There we go. Okay. Now what? Now I got to put it in something. Put it in your pocket. I'm not going to put it in my pocket. As Can is. I? Really? No, that's not it. Gas cap. What about that's gas cap? So, uh, oh, you know what? You do the I'm not putting my lips on that. Uh, uh, uh. I don't okay. Um, let me think here. I have it, I need to put it into something, and yeah. I don't. Do, do I you have, have a container? I don't. Do I have a container? I, I don't. Yeah. I have a bunch of meat, I have a thing of meat that would, absor that would absorb it. But no, I got to go find a container, right? Yeah. Is it is Absorb it nearby? It in the meat? What? I don't know. Uh, is there a container here? Oh, hover sled. That's the whole thing. Is there something else? Hover sled. Is there? Is it right in front of me, and I just don't see it? No. What do I have to do? Maybe go ask Maureen what to do. What? But these guys are here, and are they just going to wait around for me? Oh, man. Ask Maureen. Double click. I'm double clicking, man. I'm triple clicking. Okay, now double click. Great. Now look around. Oh, I could grab something for her, from her. Uh, what's this thing? No, that's nothing. That's nothing. Do, 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 do. Maybe walk closer to her, and then her positive energy will let you see that there is something on the right. On the right. On the right. I was trying to go. Yeah. Ah, she's got a wrench. 
the other right. On the right. Don't worry. On the right. Nah. She's got a right part of the screen. This thing right here. On the right part. Over here. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Gas can. <laughs> that right. All right. I won't I won't bother her. I'll surprise her. I just hope they're still up there looking for me. If not, I'm in big trouble. Come on, double click, double click. Oh my gosh, they're still there. They're Thank waiting you. for you. This is a trap. You and your shenanigans. All right, now we're talking. Oh, really? I have to do something? Come on, you know what I want to do. Uh, uh, do I have to? I thought I just did it. Yeah, you have the gas can. How are you going to get um, the uh, gas from the gas cap to the gas can? Well, you have to siphon it. What happened? Yep. But do I need a, need a little hose thing? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, I know. Do I have to go back to her her place to get that? Well, you need to find the hose somewhere. <laughs> Is it here? Please let it be here. I don't see any hoses nearby. I couldn't I have gotten the hose there. Would wouldn't you have made me get the hose? While I was there. Well, even if I would have told you where the hose is, for example, I told you where the gas can is, I told you to yeah. look to the right. And you didn't. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to Maureen's. You should have told me. Say, don't leave you. Oh, dang it. The conversations with Curtis Stream isn't a conversation with Curtis Stream without me flailing. Like an idiot. Oh, God. Like this. How do I get out of here? Double click. Double okay. click. Again. Oh, this way. This way. Now I'm this way. Okay. I got it. I got it. I'm, now I'm back. Now I'm back. I'm feeling good. All right. Let's go get some solos. Let's get ourselves a hose. You're not going to tell me where it is, but I'm going to find it. Unless it's out here. Would it be out here? No. Double click and let's go get up there. Come on. Oh, is that a hose? What was up here? Can I talk to her? I'm gonna talk to her. Maybe she'll tell me. Mo. Mo. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, Ben. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. I'm having a little trouble <laughs> finding stuff. What's the problem? I want a hose? Where's the, I know where the gas? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back, let me know if you need anything. I need, I need a hose. Oh, ZJ Wax tip 25 pieces 08. Conversations with Curtis, looking for hose. <laughs> I got me a hose. I got me a hose. All right. Thank you, Jwex, very much. That, was that a good reminds one. me that back in the 90s when I would hear, <laughs> I would hear uh, Notorious B.I.G. songs on MTV, and every time he'd say hose, and uh, they'd censor it. And I'd look up the lyrics, and I saw hose, and they wrote it H O S E. And so I looked it up in the dictionary, and I didn't understand why they keep censoring uh, whenever Notorious B.I.G. is talking about hose. It's such an integral part you to... of life. You, 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 it's funny. Video games really what were your your. Uh... Entry yeah, because to because the English uh, language, the 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 talkie versions had subtitles, so I could see how things are spelled and pronounced. Man. Okay, so we do that. Maybe the tourist BAG was also siphoning gas, which is why they wanted the sensor. 
is mentioning the word hose. Hey, Not even in the hole. Down there in the yard. It's Sam. The Get hell? him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around <laughs> the other side and we'll have him. That's corner. good. I like I go? like the funny running. Let's That's call good. Him quits, huh, no. Let's call on reinforcements. No oh, great. Not much time. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Look at that oh, shit eating grin. Get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Okay, forks, forks. Where are the forks? Let's take a look at the... There's one place we haven't been yet, right? Here. Yep. Alright, oh, we're gonna climb this thing up. Chain. Let's climb up the chain. Oh, we're not climbing up the chain. We're just gonna open the oh but I bet you it's gonna let's Well, what do I do? I want to go this way. But it's going to probably... Well, I can't kick it. Wait, wait. What am I supposed... Can I just go up? Okay, so I can't climb the chain. I don't know how to get... Let's see, what do I do? Can I go here? Okay, I can't do that. Gotta get something to get something. I gotta, oh, I gotta put something. You gotta get something here. to get something. Uh huh. I gotta put something that will. What's this? That's a. All right, well, let's see. Let's go over here. Go like that? Okay, so I can't. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. I like these kinds of things. Um, I'm not very good at them, but I like them. Let's see. So there's that. Uh, is there a way to lock the chain so that it... Do I have anything in my inventory? I hear a dog, by the way. Is the dog in there? Hmm. Can I just try to pick it up? Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Oh, it's Todd. Okay, there we go. Um, can I kick it? I kick everything else down. No. Open up, Todd. All right, so I can't. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, I have to go get something from somewhere else, right? You need to get something to get something. But I gotta get it. That's not. It's it's not here. I gotta go get it from somewhere else, right? Get it. Okay, and it's probably. Uh, it's probably here. Uh, I need to grab something that will be in the way when it goes down. It'll stop it from going all the way down. But I don't know where that thing is. Is it in her? Is it back in her thing? It's not here. What you need not to here, okay. pick up is not here. Okay, fair enough. I don't walk. I don't walk. Of course you walk. What are you talking about? So, is it here? Nope. Is it over here? Yep. Okay. Look around. I bet you they left something behind. Wait, oh, I can you know climb what? up now. You know what? I There's a button just for you. Wait. I forgot the button. Um, commentary? Really? No, not... Yeah, we have commentary, if you want to listen to the commentary. Okay. That'd be fun to listen to a little commentary. Okay. Then let's activate the... Wait, where's the commentary? I missed it. Okay. So whenever we have commentary, we're going to click the A button. Um, anyway, when you click the shift, you see this is a feature for the the remaster. When you click the shift, you see all of the hotspots, which awesome. is just for you. I didn't want to tell you about this feature, but 
It doesn't work on my my okay, my. So thing. ask me to click shift and I will. <laughs> so for example, over okay. here, if I click shift, what do you see? <gasps> what do you see? Yeah. With this. Okay, so I've already seen those signs. I don't need those signs anymore. Okay, look around. What do we have apart from the sign <laughs> There's a and the door lock. and the tower? Oh, I got the lock. I'm gonna pick the lock up. Oh, was that in the original, or is that only when no, they... No, it's part of the remake. Yeah, good job, remake people. Team Schaefer. Thank you. Let me go Schaefer. Team Schaefer. All right, now what the, the, let's go there. We're going to go in here. Now we're going to... Oh, no, no, I don't need to be here anymore. I need to go... I'm going to put the lock. I'm going to unchain... Unchain my door. There we go. This is a good game. This is fun. Um, all right, let's do this. I guess we we'll have to probably have to. I think I know what I have to do. I'm going to do this first. Now I want to do this. There we go. That's not something oh. I want to lock. What? I thought I knew for sure what I was going to do. You... Crap. Do I do the lock first? I'm going to lock. That's not something I want to lock. Okay. Let's discuss your goals at the moment. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Doesn't have to be the goals in the game. It can be a, your goals in life in general. <laughs> what yeah, are you trying true. to I'd do? That would be helpful. Uh, well, my goals in life... Let's talk about the goals in the game. I yeah, need let's to, talk about I, I need to lock the chain down okay. so that it won't, when I let go, it locks uh, and, and that door will stay open. So I have the lock, but I probably need to add something to lock it to. Okay. So, so you want to open the door in order to get into the stadium, right? Yes. Okay. But let's say there's another way into the stadium. There's another way to get into the stadium. Mm -hmm. Is it like is it like uh, Monkey Island where all you have to do is pick up the thing? No, 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 no. But um, let's say when you're pulling on the chain, the door opens. Not on foot. Okay. So when you pull the chain, the door opens. Right. And then you want to leave the door open in order to get into it. It's not a city, it's the junkyard, sorry. Um, yeah. So you're pulling on the chain to get into the junkyard mm -hmm. through the door. But let's say mm -hmm. the door wouldn't have budged. And so what would have happened to the chain? I would climb up the chain. I was trying to climb up the chain. Okay, I feel like I should... so, so you can climb up the chain. You're trying to lock the chain in order to climb up the chain. But how about locking something else so that the chain won't move? Lock? Oh, can I put a lock on, here, on the door? Okay, let's try that. Oh, I would never have thought, figured this out. There's like a little thing here. Oh, golly. All right, thank you for the hint, Daniel. Oh. Dang it! Now, that should have been—I should have figured that out. That was dumb. All right. But you guys yeah, got how many of you got? How many of you got stuck on that for a long time? All of us. All of you. Ah, uh, junk. My brain isn't locked. It's just—it's just hardened. Oh, okay. I know what's going. Okay. Junkyard dog. 
I'm gonna get eaten alive by a junkyard dog. And there's, there's, I know from little nightmares that you want to go towards the light, or you need to stay out of the light. But I can't remember. You need to stay out of the light in life. <laughs> Maybe go towards the light in games. I don't know. All right, let's see what happens. Um. What do I do here? Wreck. Let's go to the wreck. Cars. No, thank you. I know I'm, the the music's telling me I'm going to get in trouble here. Um, I don't know. Moffat Reborn, Reborn is suggesting just that the you kind take of the force I need right on Ooh, top. A, okay, I got to get up there. What's that? Moffat Reborn says you should kick the light. Kick the light. Where's the light? Oh, kick it? I'm going to kick it right now. All right. That's not going to let me. Parts pile. So let's go grab it. Yeah, I knew you were coming. I knew you were on the way. Now I just need to give you... <laughs> Down. Oh, I know what to do. I just got to give you the, your, the meat. When Ray do I Koopa give him tipped the... $5, an enlightening experience. Thanks, Ray Koopa. I'll oh, get one. Yeah. Boy, the punsters on this channel. Man, George Lucas is in the chat. Whoa, welcome, George. Can we get an interview with Mark Hamill? See yeah. if you can get us yeah, Mark. The first thing you should ask George Lucas is uh, whether or not we can get an interview with Mark Hamill. <laughs> All right. So I got, I can go down there. Uh, how do I lure? I got to give the dog the, the slab of meat. But when is the question? Can I go someplace else before? Can I find him? Well, there's all kinds of places to go. It looks like what's this? Oh. All right, so how about I, all right, give you, I'm gonna give you some meat. Oh, uh, well, it's not gonna work. Oh, I see something. Oh, well, here I go, running away. <laughs> this is good. Oh no, is he gonna get it? That's pretty down. Cool. Uh oh. What have you done? Let's activate the commentary. I thought we did. Wait, give me give me controls. Wait, did you activate it? Yeah. Oh. Keep playing. Alright, I think I'm clicking it. So, oh, that, that's the Tim Mobile? Oh, yeah. that's, do you still have that car? Uh, it's in a garage in Reading. Because, so, <laughs> <laughs> I was driving, I uh, inherited, I bought this the car for my dad, which is his 69 Le Mans, which is, I mean, it looks like a GTO, it's a really fun car to have. And then I go, at lunch one day, uh, with a bunch of LucasArts co-workers in it, uh, it was someone before I started it, someone was like, do you smell gas? And I was like, no, <laughs> you're silly. And I started it, and then boom. That was me and Michelle Harrell. Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> And and you remember like uh, black smoke came out yeah. of the defroster bins. And we just died. It's a convertible. Like, yeah, we had jumped. So I was like, get out of the car! <laughs> jumped out. out. And I run to this jewelry store to use nine one one. And secretly, I've been wanting to call nine one one all my life, right? Like, <laughs> you know, like you just be like, oh, someday I'm gonna. Have, so I call them. And they're and like, then, you're at the jewelry store. Is it robbery? What's going on? <laughs> and, I, and I ran back to the car, and there was a no. fire underneath the car. And there are already fire people there. It's like, so weird to have commentary because, for, for the fire <laughs> a game. It's not cool, though. It must have been really fun for you guys to play this game and hear. All right, so I need to get up here somehow. How do I get Ray up Copa, the original game came out in 1995, in April of 1995. So four months before Phantasmagoria 1. Okay, so, all right. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Um, I know that I need to get up here somehow, but I don't know how to get up there. 
Pepina, Kurt is doing something with Rascat of Accursed Pharma here. Is that true? Yes! On Wednesday, we're gonna play Bad King's God. Quest 1, the fan remake with Rascat. We are. From Accursed he has agreed Farms. To, uh, to, to hang out with us. Hey. There's my car, my actual car. Oh, so, we did that already, right? Okay. It turned off the count. All right. Okay, 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 okay. How do I get up to the... Wait, you Thought went I... that way, and went that way, and you saw a bunch of cars, and then you saw a dog, and you have mm -hmm. meat that you can give directly to the dog, so... I couldn't give it to do the, the dog. Do the math, do the math. You have a bunch of cars, and you have meat. Okay. Muffet Reborn yeah. tip $20. As Paul bravely runs away from the slightly rabid, cuddly dog. Well played, Puddles. Well played. <laughs> Puddles. <laughs> I hope that's the dog you're referring to and not Thank my you. Nickname. Thank you, Moffat. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Moffat. All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to put the meat in a car, I guess. Right, here you we go. Yes, correct. I only have so many options, right? So now I need to... I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, come on. So wait. Just stop. In this part, okay, Let's skip this part and let me get you back to the Thank cars you. over, yeah. over Thank here. You. Okay. Now let me know what you want to do. For example, I want to get... do you want to place the meat inside the car? Yes. Okay. So we're going to place the meat inside the car. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Don't okay. have teeth, mud. Now he's in the car. Now he's in the car. Now we need to move around. Let's go over here. Ray he's going to be there for just a little while. Dollars. How do I get up? Dodge the dogs between the dodges. What? What did Ray just say? Dodge, dodge the dog between the dodges. Dodge okay. the dog. So Give basically, your um, you place the meat inside the car, but the the uh, dog is in the car eating the meat, but he can still hop out of the car and right. Well, what I here's what I know I need to do. Okay. I need to I need to get up and use. I got a. Uh, I see there's like a this thing right here. It's like a big magnet, and I'm gonna be able to pick up cars with it. But I don't know how to get up there. So okay. once I give, once I give the dog the meat, I have a short amount of period to get up to the control center, but I don't know how to get to the control center. Okay. So is there, is there a ladder you get to the or something? Maybe. What is that? So I can go to any one of those things. These are the hot spots. Okay. So we. I, I can't go up there. Okay, so. Um, but maybe I can get the thing now because he's over there. Can I get can I get the forks now while he's no? You can try. Now, if it's not, if it's a no, then let's not do it. Um, isn't there a way to get over there, though? To get up and, and be able to control the forklift thing or the car? There is, but you need to tell me where to go. Um, go left or right? Well, we've gone right a couple of times, so that doesn't seem to be working. Is there anything over? Is it looks like, like right now where your, your thing is, that looks like a walkway right here. Like right, that looks like a walkway, like right here. But how do I get up to that? Over here? Yeah. No? Oh yeah, that. Can well you click done. on that? Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. How did well, that? Well, that, okay. Oh, excellent. Okay, I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Come on, come on, poochie pooch. Pooch. All right, okay, so I wanna... you're controlling, you're controlling, um, really obstructing justice by obstructing the, your controls, but it's over here. You need to move. Ben's hand. Oh, I see. Uh, his hand. Okay, so. Oh, 
Alright, let's do this. Go up or down? Yeah, it's not doing it very... Let's see, can I make it work? This is up, you can go down. And you have a button. You have a button over... Uh, it's not really. It, uh, my my controls are not. Uh, Lord Oro Metal Should I get the PS4 version of Full Throttle Remastered, Third, or is it a bad idea to play a oh, point we, and click uh, game with a controller? Cold sweat well, smile. Well, thank you for the donation. You're a Metal I think it's Jonathan. Is it? And um. Yeah, you should get the PS4 version of Full Throttle because in the remastered version, it's pretty uh, fun playing it with a controller. Yeah, you picked up the wrong car. How do you know? Because the the only car that's rocking is the car you should get knocking. But I thought I wanted to put a car on top of that car so we couldn't get out. How about picking the car up so we can get out? Alright, let's drop you. I was gonna, like, do a sandwich, you think? Alright, there we go, now we'll go up. All right, so now we're good. Now let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? There we go. Boom! Look at me. Hey, yeah. thank you for that uh, for that tip, Lord Oro Metalsaurus. And I will only say this simply because if you're new to our stream, and I am seeing a lot of cool new names here, um, and if you choose to support us which we totally appreciate um please consider using the coffee i gotta make sure where it goes there it is the coffee uh website um because unlike youtube uh which takes 50 percent of your donation and keeps it for themselves coffee lets us keep the majority of it up to over 90 percent so we appreciate no, it no i know Lo lord or metal metal Saurus. I was on you... a podcast with him, and yeah. we talked about retro games in Hebrew. Fantastic. Well, that's awesome. Well, either way, thank you, and just uh, keep that in mind in the future. All right, so I can get out of here now, right? I have everything I need. No, now I can go get the stuff. Now I can go get the thing. Cars. No, thank you. All right, here we go. Come on. But even though you didn't use what? coffee, we still appreciate every donation, so thank you for that. Absolutely. Uh, and I can't seem to get... I seem to be in trouble here. Okay, here we go. It's not activating. Let me try one more time. Maybe now it will. There we go. Let's go pick that sucker up. <clears throat> we did it! Boom! Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside <laughs> face, for a minute and I'll finish smile. you up. I'm working on a surprise. <laughs> All right, now what? Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. What's this picture of? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care Uncle of me Pete. after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Okay, just Meat curious. Farm. Now I'm out of here. I hate surprises. Where am I going? All right, here she comes. I hate surprises. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Yeah. Oh, just your average, everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? What? Yes. But only the vultures. Did you notice the uh, tattoo foreshadowing on Maureen's 
She's got a little bit of a vulture what? tattoo. What? Like a big, uh, yeah. No! Problem with uh, commentary is the fact that they presume correctly that if you're playing it with commentary, that they can talk about the ending back. of the game. So. Beat it, will you? Yeah, I was reading the chat, so I wasn't listening. Uh, interlace, right. Serious question, Dan. Last time I tried to pay something with PayPal, didn't accept the wallet I loaded up through Ideal payment system here and needed a link credit card instead. How's that with coffee? Well, I know that coffee recently, I think they added Apple Pay as well. So, um, you don't have to use PayPal. I'm not sure, but I think they added it recently. Should check it out. Right, we're on our way. We have to like fight a bunch of people. You, you have to take over the controls here. Well, we can skip those action sequences by clicking Control W. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Nope. Keep looking. Well, we're in the middle of the big light. Now what? I have to come back here? Seriously? You should go somewhere else if that direction is taking you Which nowhere. Way we, which way did we go? Oh, it went that way. So maybe you should try one of the other directions. Wait, wait, was this the way we went the first time? Double click and find out. Lord Aura Metal Saurus says a graphic adventure with action sequences. Rascat ain't gonna like that. Well, uh, ever since uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade came out, in which he had bushes the other way, in which he had to fight your way through several sequences, LucasArts decided. And, and by the way, people complained about the fact that you had to um, play through those action sequences. So ever since that part. That, that game was released. They added cheat codes for every action sequence in every game. The other way. So in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, you can click zero on the numpad and give a super punch to skip over the fighting sequences. And over here, you have Control W. Yeah, what's I up? Two, I got two options. I got going right or go left. He won't maybe, let me go left. Maybe you have more options. I, <laughs> I don't. Let's see. Do I? Let's go back to the house. No. Nah. I've already said my goodbyes. All right. All right. Let's go. Um. So here's what I see. I got this. He says. I. Uh, he says. The nah. The other way. The other way. And then I've got this. But it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna go to the same spot. Okay. So let's talk about the problem at hand. You have an ambush, which is in a particular direction, which is that direction. Yeah. And you have the cops over there. Yeah. How will you distract the cops? Or get them oh, to I go know somewhere? What to do. Oh, I know what to do. You don't need to tell me four times. Okay. okay. Why can't I take my motorcycle over there? Walking is healthier for you. I mean, that's kind of silly. Do I have to hide in the same spot? Okay. Hear that? Right. Or you have to drive over there because now the cops are distracted. Yeah, I know that, but I just want to make sure I... Where's my motorcycle? Where, where am I? Here you are. Alright, it's gone. 
Cutscene. There's our guys. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. Are we ever? We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket, I surely not gonna was be good. thankful. Till I Damn. head for the skies up above. Dave Grossman wrote this sea shanty. It's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, Whoa. Do okay. something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. Mafia Reborn, thank you for joining us. Hope you have a good night. You shouldn't have Ooh. laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What Bam! Psycho. Gotcha. Hey, Oops. look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. It's got I'll a camera. Her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the core. No, family. don't right. get the person with the but camera who has all the incriminating destroy that camera. evidence. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. No, let's give her a head start. For the road. Corley. Corley. Ben. <coughs> I guess uh. Rick Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta Stop hurt him my for face, me, man. Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used Maureen. to call her the diaper dynamo. Lane. Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Uh oh. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Can we do anything? Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? Nestor. What's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes. Oh, God. Now I remember. You need the You're camera. A smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat him. I don't think you did beat him here, but let's see what thought, we got. Maybe I didn't. The plot thickens. Yeah, what do we got here? Debris. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. Nice. No film inside. Hmm. Ah. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. We gotta go to the mink ranch. So that's all we got. Do I have to, is there anything to get up there? Is there any stuff to grab? No, let's drive away. Let's drive away. Hey, we ended up playing one game. We were going to play a whole bunch of games and we got caught up. Well, it's a short game. It is? Yep. Get back over here. Bike. 
Interlace tipped $20, after throwing meat at the screen, kicking my phone and putting my lips on everything I finally figured out PayPal. Thanks for the memories, guys. <laughs> Both the old ones and these here today. Well, thank you for uh, figuring out PayPal, and thank you for the donation. Oh, Annalise, very nice. Really appreciate it. Uh, you you uh, you went to all this extra work, and it and, and we appreciate your your support. Um, I guess I want to go this way now. Have I gone this way? Why don't I hang out with my guys? Why can't I tell them to do stuff? And I can divvy up the... Okay. This is new. What's this thing? Semi. Let's look at it. Semi. Which I'm gonna... This sucker's mine. What? All right, let's grab it then. Look, I really need a <laughs> ride. Who are you talking to? We gotta go inside. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner He's of Corley missing. Motors, was found <laughs> dead. At a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, Stop playing the benevolent game. patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head this and neck, stupid. savagely and without mercy. Police have <laughs> arrested a notorious viciously outlaw savagely. biker gang known as the Polecats. No. It's really the hard to watch him do that. Leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway Why 9 in an yourself? effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. I talk to this guy? There we go. Oh, no. He's got a know. knife. Mm, really? I can do that. Not gonna happen. No. Show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. What if you just keep saying that? Was he ever give you a chance? Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Well, why do they? Should... Why do they have that there? So Come on. You have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna, Not happen. gonna happen. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. Hmm. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. It would be great if they let Look, him finally do I it. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Okay, nothing. Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. And keep asking. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Oh, come Let me on. Let show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shut you up. Yes! Hmm. Yes! Come on, faster. Wait, now I get to do it? Oh. Yeah. Try not to miss. Well, I'm on. You can miss if you want. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're pathetic. Oh. 
<laughs> Damn. Damn. Ah. Damn. This is so stupid. Hmm. I can't go fast because I don't have. I'm. I'm. I'm a remote. Wait. Let me go. Of, let me give uh, you a try. No. It's the out. Ah! Ouch. Okay. okay. We this can is do this is, there, is there a payoff here? No. no the payoff out. is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> no. Oh. Ah! Damn. Oh yeah, you sure are good at that, buddy. You're pathetic. Dang. Okay, now let us talk to him one more time. Okay, so there's a roadblock because the police is looking for us because we're wanted for murder. So now we need to get ourselves a ride in the semi trailer somehow. All right. Good talking okay. to you. Um, Friendly folks, you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quo Hog. Um, do I need to just get his keys and beat him up and steal the thing? Or, oh, I no, know. You I won't be able to drive it because then people will see you at the roadblock because you'll be driving the semi trailer. And besides, Ben doesn't drive cars or trucks, he's driving bikes. Like a man. Can I put the bike in the back or something? Maybe you should look around. Look around. Huh? There's look another around. location over here, if you remember from the beginning of the game. Oh, back there. Back there. Psst. Psst. Hey! Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures. Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks! I want that good. <laughs> my career is riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben! You're my only hope! Star Wars oh, don't reference. worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? But then, who's got the film? Nice, Daniel. Good. Good one. Alright, so I got the ID. Anything else I need around here? Probably not. But now I need to somehow get into the truck into the truck this sucker's mine hmm uh it, it just seems like the motorcycle has to get into the back of the semi but there's no way to get to the back of the semi here. So I have to, I, is there some, do I have to go back in and talk to the dude again with my new. With your new found ID. Yeah. No, I guess I don't need to do that. I'm going to show him my ID. Oh, it doesn't. Get up. 
you know. Just done here. Yep. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place? Yeah, shovel the knife to me, Grinch. I remember we'll make it look legit. some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay, Daniel, I think I'm getting near the end of my... Oh, great. Time Smells here. like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Okay, so we'll watch uh, this cutscene and then we'll save the game. Okay. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rubes get your man. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Now we're gonna be in a new place, right? Of course we are. Hmm. We stopped moving. Problem with your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over oh. there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road. Wait. Nope. I don't trust that guy. You shouldn't. Something was, something was wrong there. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Dang. You okay? Dang. Time to save Good the game. Stop. Save the game. All right. We're 36% into the game. All right. All right. Well, this will be the game I guess you and I play, Daniel, when we don't have Tori joining us because we want to start something fresh with her. Mm -hmm. And then when we don't have a guest uh, host like uh, Ross or any of our guests like Bevan Red, who's going to be playing with us soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so lots of stuff going on. This is good. I like it. This is a fun game. Yep. Um, and, you know, I think uh, Right Said Brett is, is, I agree with him that I think that we should look at and consider different kinds of games that live within the things that we like. You know, you and I can chat about about so those kinds of options that that fit uh you know that may not be older classic games but some of the, something either newer or in a slightly i mean i don't as much yeah, as, like with you know, like we did with uh, edith finch which was a great game absolutely i loved that and by the way i'm really bummed that i didn't finish it i still don't know what happened so watch I, the live I, stream well, I guess I should watch the live stream. Yeah, I'll watch the end of it. Yeah, that's, that gets a good point. I should watch some of these things. You should watch um, Conversations with Curtis Moore. I watch it every day. Probably should, yeah. But those kinds of games are great. And if that's going to help you know, expand our audience, I really like those. And it was fun playing that with you. It's fun watch watching you play a game that you don't know as mm -hmm. opposed to, you know. So, yeah, let's just keep, uh, let's keep, we have so many suggestions on our Discord channel of games that just sound really, really cool. And and I think we should, you know, with all of our free time, let's uh let's consider that. Will do. All right. Um thanks guys for getting us to 40% of our goal this week. Uh with Ross on Wednesday. My guess is we might be getting a lot more people because he's got quite quite a 
quite a following and maybe mm-hmm. some of those folks will join us. But um, and so, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of days. We're we're back. It's good to have Mr. Albu back in the saddle. Yeah, this will be the summer of conversations with Curtis. Live streams all around, in interviews every week. It's going to be good stuff. And mm-hmm. when are we going to, uh, when are we, when I say we, when are you going to release the Ron Gilbert interview? When's that? Well, uh, now that you mentioned that, um, we're not going to stream on Fridays for a while because Paul can't uh, stream on Fridays until mid July. So we might try something new by switching the interviews from Sundays at noon to Fridays at noon. And we'll see how that goes. Now, since I'm in, I'm releasing the Dave Grossman interview on Sunday, because Sunday is the day of the 30th anniversary of the day of the tentacle. So I'll release on that, not this Friday, next Friday, the Ron Gilbert interview. So you get on Friday, Dave Grossman on uh, on Sunday, Dave Grossman. On Friday, Ron Gilbert. And we'll give it a try for a while. And we'll, we'll be back to the Friday live streams. Then the interviews will be back to the Sunday time slot. Yeah, sounds good. Unless maybe we do a Sunday live stream and keep the Friday interviews. Maybe we do something like that one of these days. I have no problem with Sunday live streams. But uh, yeah. you know, we should give it a try. All right. We'll see. Well, I don't know. Uh, it depends on the day. So, it's okay, your day good. off. Yeah, it's my day off, yeah. All right, guys. It's great to see you all. Thanks so much for a fun stream, really fun game, and we'll see you all on Wednesday. All the best. Bye. Bye. Good times.